Looking deeper into the word reveals that the biblical description of angels significantly differs from the familiar depiction of cute little babies with wings, carrying a bow and arrow. One may wonder why such a false image of angels persists. The angelic image prevalent today traces back to Greek mythology, the story of Eros or Cupid as we often refer to him. Eros, equipped with wings and a bow and arrow, shot Arrow at Psyche intending to make her fall in love with a beast. However, he ended up injuring himself with the arrow and subsequently fell in love with her. Angels, as mentioned throughout the Bible, are mighty and powerful beings. They are far from the bow-carrying infants we often see in popular culture. The Bible describes angels as divine servants of God, celestial beings who carry out his commands. Their strength and power are beyond human comprehension, making them unique entities in the divine hierarchy. Consider the words of Psalm 103 verses 20 and 21. Praise the Lord, you his angels, you mighty ones who do his bidding, who obey his word. Praise the Lord, all his heavenly hosts, you his servants who do his will. This verse underscores the might of angels and their obedience to God. They are God's mighty ones, who dutifully serve him and carry out his commands. The Bible is full of accounts where angels display their might and power. The book of Genesis, for instance, narrates how angels guarded the tree of life after Adam and Eve's expulsion from the Garden of Eden. This task was not a minor one, but a crucial responsibility entrusted to these mighty beings. Just like in the book of Exodus, God instructs Moses to create cherubim, another type of angel, from pure gold and place them on the Ark of the Covenant. These cherubim, with their wings spread wide, were to cover the mercy seat, further illustrating their importance and power. The might of angels is not limited to the Old Testament. In the New Testament's book of Revelations, angels play crucial roles in executing God's final judgments. Their strength and might are evident as they carry out tasks that influence the fate of the world. It's clear then that the Bible paints a different picture of angels, one of strength and power. These celestial beings are not the cuddly infants we often imagine. Instead, they are mighty and powerful entities, divine servants who dutifully carry out God's commands. The Bible mentions different types of angels, each with unique roles and appearances. Among them, cherubim and seraphim stand out due to their distinct duties and depictions. These descriptions further contradict the common image of angels we often visualize. First, let's discuss the cherubim. They are tasked with guarding the tree of life, as mentioned in Genesis. Their portrayal is far from the baby-like figures we often imagine. In fact, they are described as having two pairs of wings and four faces, that of a lion, an ox, a human, and an eagle. This powerful and majestic image is further emphasized by their presence in significant biblical structures. They were designed on the Ark of the Covenant with their wings spread covering the mercy seat. Moreover, Solomon incorporated two huge cherubim inside his temple, their wings spread out and touching each other in the middle of the room. Next we have the seraphim. Unlike the cherubim, the seraphim are seen hovering over the throne of God, continuously singing his praises. They are described as having six wings, a depiction that is in stark contrast to the common angelic image. With two wings they cover their faces, with two they cover their feet, and with two they are flying. This portrayal of seraphim signifies their humility and unwavering devotion to the Lord, despite their power. These biblical descriptions of cherubim and seraphim challenge the widely accepted image of angels. They are not sweet baby-like figures, but rather, they are mighty, powerful, and filled with awe-inspiring majesty. They carry out significant roles and responsibilities displaying their obedience and servitude to the Lord. So the next time we think of angels, let's remember their true biblical depiction. They are not the tiny winged babies with a bow and arrow, rather they are grand, powerful, and serve crucial roles in the divine realm. These descriptions of cherubim and seraphim show us that angels are not the cherubic figures we often imagine. It is evident that the true nature of angels, as per the Bible, is far removed from the common perception. They are powerful, mighty, and serve specific roles in the divine realm. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel and share this video so we can spread the word together. God bless you.